Welcome back to our next edition of Exponential Africa. I'm Mick Mann, a co-CEO of Singularity U South Africa, and we are on a mission to future-proof Africa. Today in the studio, I'm very excited to have one of our Singularity U South Africa faculty, Ashley Anthony, who is a, an expert on artificial intelligence. He's also a dear friend, so we're very lucky to have you. Welcome, Ashley. Great, thank you for having me, Mick. No, great, great for you to be here. So, Ashley, I wanted to ask you, um, everyone's talking about AI, and you know, what does it actually mean, artificial intelligence? The best way to describe it would be, AI is the quest for computers to solve problems that they were never designed to solve. Just recently, I heard a quote of how important data is from, from Jack Ma. He said that right now, if you go to a business or a home, you find the first pipe with water, a basic need. You find the second pipe with all your cables and electricity running in. And what he says is in the next 30 years, you'd have the pipe for data. That's, that's how it would be. Maybe not in the as literal sense, but I think it gives us the point of how two of our almost basic needs that we need to survive every day, electricity and water. The next one is, is data. I mean, one of the most interesting and things I'm most excited about sharing is uh, I'm going to be showing a product called Sophia. And for the first time, we're going to take thousands of pages with handwriting and typed in stuff. And we're going to take this unstructured data and in a matter of seconds, we're going to put it in a machine format, completely structured at 100% accurate. And what Sophia is that's so different is OCR is just one step in many. And what it is, it's actually a platform that's stitched together. And what I want to demonstrate at the conference is show you that artificial intelligence on its own is not enough. And it's not the best option. And human intelligence on its own is not the best option. But where we see the greatest improvement is the combination of artificial and human intelligence together. So it's augmented That's intelligence. Absolutely. So, so, so it's going to be an interesting... It's, I mean, it's just, it's just really is transforming our lives. You know, I'm busy listening to this book by Yuval Noah Harari, 21 Lessons. And he talks about that the AI is going to become so good that it can actually, if, it can, it can, if you're feeling sad, the AI will know to play the perfect song to change your mood and to uplift you. And, and, and not even only that, but the AI will know based on your, your, your vitals and your, it's the convergence between AI and bio to give the AI some data points. It will know that when your heart skips a beat and it actually, there's a part in the song you don't like, it will rewrite that part in the song. Wow. So that you do, so that it constantly keeps uplifting you. I mean, that's the potential of the personalization of AI. So Mick, I think that's just the beauty about AI. What you just said was, a machine could tailor make a song, not just to the individual, but to the individual's feelings at a specific point in time. Yeah. That is why, as humans, machines will be smarter than us. Machines will be faster than us. Machines don't get tired and machines don't drink. Yeah. Machines will always be better at humans at a certain set of things. But when it comes to wisdom or, and stuff like that, machines won't. Based on all of this incredible change and this incredible customization and, and, and rapid evolution, what, what are the things we need to put in place to make sure that we don't, you know, all, so this, this AI, this power doesn't get into the wrong hands and gets used in the wrong way? That's a question that I think affects every human on earth. You know, it's, it's something that uh, is a lot bigger than just one organization trying to answer or one individual. Well, what I can tell you is every time we've seen a jump in technology, uh, the, the one thing that's uh, correlate, strongly correlated with is a type of world war. So 200 years ago, with the steam train and revolution there, we had the first world war. A uh, hundred years ago with electricity, we had the second world war. Uh, AI would definitely be the, the, the third big jump in technology that, our gener that we would have ever seen. Are there any laws being created? You know? Yes. 
look, Mick, there's, there's a lot of laws being created around this, but we've got to, we've got to, firstly, I think it's important to state that uh, nuclear physics can be used to provide power and electricity to a whole community who never had it before. At the same time, it could be used to build a nuclear bomb. Yes. Okay, so the first thing we got to realize is there is no evil AI. It's actually humans that possess the ability and uh, program machines to do these type of things. I think just to, to frame it, AI is probably our generation's um, or a fundamental risk to human society. You know, it's, uh, it can be used for good and it certainly can be used for evil. And uh, do I think legislation is important? Absolutely, absolutely. So thanks so much, Ash. It was really great having you on the show and I think that was very exhilarating. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you liked us, make sure to subscribe to our show, Exponential Africa. So thank you, Ashley. We look forward to seeing you at Exponential Finance and uh, AR to the rescue. Great, thank you for having me. Thanks, man. Cheers.